When it comes to compact SUVs, the Escape has kind of always been the OG. I'm at the 2022 LA International Auto Show because Ford has just revealed the completely revised 2023 Escape. Let's take a first look. So as the compact SUV in Ford's lineup, this is a very important model because Ford has consistently done over 300,000 sales in the US every year. Although last year they only managed to do around 145,000 sales. So the big refresh that they're doing for 2023 should help to rectify some of the flaws of the pre-refresh model. As you guys know, this generation Escape first came out back in 2020. It's based heavily, of course, off of the Ford Kuga, which they sell as a different vehicle out in Europe. Uh, and it's now in its fourth generation. You can see for 2023, they've given the car a pretty significant an update in terms of the styling. You can see it's got this new grille, it's got new headlights. Uh, this particular one here is an ST line trim level. It's not technically a full on ST, but you can see it's got a lot of sportier design elements like a black grille uh, painted in this bright uh, finish of red. It looks really nice with the full LED headlights. The light bars, you can see uh, accent lights for the LED daytime running light, this new light bar that kind of connects the two head headlight modules together certainly makes the car look a little bit more stylish. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like the look of the updated front end. You also have LED fog lights along with this uh, lower front sp splitter that kind of gives it more of a sportier look. Uh, I personally didn't really care for the styling of the pre-refreshed Escape, so I'm happy to see that Ford has done a really great job here making this car look a lot more distinctive. Now, I wanna talk about underneath the hood, but sadly, I can't actually pop the hood. This model here has the company's two-liter turbo EcoBoost four-cylinder making about 250 horsepower. The base engine's a 1.5-liter EcoBoost four-cylinder making about 181 horsepower. And then there are two different hybrids, uh, a regular hybrid that offers 192 horsepower from its 2.5-liter plus electric motors. And then there's a plug-in hybrid model that has about 210 horsepower so Ford did increase the power output a little bit from there uh, and you get around 37 miles of all-electric range you should know however the hybrid the regular hybrid offers front or all-wheel drive the plug-in hybrid only comes in front-wheel drive now this model here like I said earlier is the ST line elite trim so it's the most expensive ST line that you can get and it also has all-wheel drive the overall dimensions haven't changed. This vehicle is around 180.5 inches long. It has a much more car-like look, uh, kind of looking more like a Focus hatchback because remember, if you want a little more rugged looking compact SUV, Ford will happily sell you the Bronco Sport, which is built off of the same architecture. This is designed to be a sleeker city car, which is why Ford went with a slightly curvier, more hatchbacky design uh, for the Escape. Now looking at the wheels, you can see the ST line has this unique set of 19 inch wheels. They're gloss black. Uh, they're wrapped in a 225 uh, by 55 series tire. You can see it's an all season tire. The wheels look good. I like how Ford has gone with the black accents or the black wheels entirely. Uh, I do kind of wish that they had a little bit fatter tires. I also like how they painted the fender, uh, the wheel arches here to make it look again, a little bit more uh, car-like and streamlined. Now over here on the roof, you can see the Escape does offer a panoramic sunroof. So that's one of the vehicles that you can get if you require that feature. And then you can see there's a lot more blacked out accents in the window trim to give this vehicle a sportier look. And at the rear, the refresh is slightly more subtle back here compared to the front, but I do like the design of the new LED taillights. They're kind of an LED combination. Really interesting design for the LED taillight uh, and the brake light. And then you can see down here, the ST line also gets dual exhaust tips, dual chrome exhaust tips, which has kind of been going away in the industry. Uh, so it's nice to see that Ford is kind of giving you that sportier design touch. Now looking at the cargo area, you can see um, the Escape's always been a relatively roomy vehicle. However, the older boxy design of the pre-, pre the older models had a little bit more cargo room. This has roughly 30 cubic feet of space, which will expand to a little over 65 cubic feet of space. But you should know that it's competitive, but vehicles like the uh, Toyota RAV4 or the Honda CRV or Subaru Forester are likely going to have more space. Now, looking at the interior of the refreshed Escape, you can see the ST line gets its own unique design cues here. I especially love the seats. You can see you've got this quilted leather with the red contrasting stitching. There are They are heated seats. And then my uh, driver's seat here is actually an eight-way power with three-person memory. It's also got two uh, position lumbar adjustment. The seats themselves are nice. They also are, appear to be a little bit more aggressively bolstered. And I think it really helps to brighten up the cabin. I especially like the red stitching. But the big story here, of course, is the upgrade in the technology because the new Escape, the old one had decent tech, Although the screens were starting to look a little bit small. This now has the latest version of Ford's Sync or the, the Sync 4 system. So we have a 13.2 inch touchscreen and a fully digital 12.3 inch display. Uh, it definitely makes it look a lot more modern. You have features like wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It has over the air updates. Um, so this, once we get our hands on it, I am looking forward to testing it out. I also like the carbon fiber that you see kind of splashed throughout the dashboard. There's also some black brushed aluminum trim, dark aluminum trim here. There's a electronic shifter here for the uh, eight speed automatic transmission. 
And then when it comes to the materials, you can see there's a soft touch injection molded plastic here on the door panels. It's kind of carried over onto the dashboard as well. You have a heads up display. And then if you look over here on the glove compartment, you can see it's a bin style. It's stamped, but not lined with felt. Uh, other features that people are also looking for, it's got wireless phone charging pad right here. And then above me, there is a panoramic glass roof that is large. Unfortunately, the car doesn't have power. I can't open it for you, but it does go all the way into the back seat. Now, speaking of which, let's go ahead and hop into the back seat because I want to show you guys what the space is like back here. Uh, now, in terms of the back seat, the Escape has this one really clever feature where when you get in this car, you can actually adjust the seat. You can slide it forward and back up to six inches. Now, obviously, you're not going to want to have it in this position here because there's no space, but it allows you to, again, give you more cargo space in the back or give you more leg room in the second row. And I think that's a really important feature. In terms of the materials, you can see it is hard touch plastic over here on the door panels compared to the front seats. but. Uh, in terms of legroom, I believe the preview fresh model had around 38 inches of legroom. You can see there is a hump here that does intrude on the middle passenger. You have two USB charging ports, you have rear seat air vents, and then Ford gives you one storage pocket along with an armrest here that folds down. So overall, the back seat is certainly nice, uh, but you guys are probably also wondering what's the Escape going to cost? now. First of all, the refresh model is heading to dealerships in early 2023. They're saying the first quarter. You can go to your local Ford dealership now and order this vehicle. And Ford has already announced pricing. You can go to Ford's website now and build this car. It starts at $27,500 for the base version. Remember, that's front wheel drive at about $1,500 if you guys want all wheel drive. Now, this ST Line Elite that I'm showing you starts at around $38,500. And then once you add in all the options, it's probably closer to $40,000. The plug-in hybrid is also around the same cost. So obviously, the Escape is a little bit more expensive, but I think Ford has done a really great job here in making this car feel a lot more upscale and making it more appealing. For Redline Reviews here at the 2022 LA International Auto Show, I'm Sokhan Bay.